I heard. Let's go with I heard. At the CrossFit Games, that during the run, you were um, talking shit to Roman. All good. And no, then I, was I encouraging him. Oh, right. Encouraging him. I heard you encouraging. Sorry, my bad. I heard you were encouraging Roman uh, in the CrossFit Games. Um, and then I heard that you touched him. Like, I don't know, you bumped him or slapped him on the back or some shit like that. And he got all fucking tw- twisted up and, and reported you to the authorities. Oh, wow. Well. For touching him. Is this the first you're hearing of this? No. Nope. Oh, <laughs> that was good. I liked your uh, exclamation. What did you? So can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. Uh, so going into this run, I, I knew I had a good chance of win it, winning it. Uh, mm-hmm. We were b- way below my 5K pace PR. Um, so my goal was to try and because I know Roman's a good runner as well. So I wanted to like leave the pack and lead the race with him and at the same time make him run faster than what he wants to. Um, so I, that's what I was saying to him during the run. Like, let's go, let's, let's, let's move away from the pack. Um, but I, I wouldn't touch anyone like that's uh, I, I, we saw that at the games in the past athlete that made moves that way. And it's, it's not good. This is not, this is not, supposed to happen in our sport um i know that at some point i was i was on the inside line and i was pretty tight it was a pretty tight squeeze and i was hitting the markers. the little cross it markers um so did it happen then i don't know but uh touching him no hey him. so i'm guessing he reported it and then they came and talked to you they said hey just be just so you know but, no, but one you came to me. no one came to you no nope. oh that's awesome oh that well, makes me sick that makes me happy to hear. I was that. I was curious. I was like, okay, I, let me see. And I watched the full run, and I was like, who, where, what, where? I don't. Okay. Understand. And the camera's on us for the full run. Yeah. So you so, never tapped. You never tapped him on the back or anything. Like, hey, good job or nothing. No, you never no. nothing. I think the no. only time when you after the first lap when you come in. I think that's the only time because you kind of like wave to the crowd, and I know he's close oh, to you, maybe. but like maybe. But I waved to the crowd uh, after the first lap. I was, I was so excited for this run. Yeah. I, was, I, I got in the North Park and the crowd started like roaring. I was like, yeah, let's go. And I don't have these moments often. Never. Uh, I was so surprised. I was like, I was like let's like, go. <laughs> and I was ready to run like hell after that first lap. And it, it was after that first lap that I just ditched Roman. I'm like, well, if you if you don't want to run fast, then I'll I'll just go. Um. I mean, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't far fall far behind. So, so in this clip right here, uh, can you play this clip? We can hear you. Um, this is, I think, you saying something to Roman. Let's see. I can't hear anything. No, I can't hear anything. May, that that's probably the start of the second lap, and mm-hmm. I, I I felt I saw I saw him fall behind. I'm like, wh- like, are you slowing down? Are you are you? are you dying? What's happening? And I was trying to figure out who was beside me. So I knew Lazar was there and I could hear, I think I could hear on the mics like uh, that Pat was there, but I couldn't see him. And I, I didn't know who the the tall guy was. It took me like two laps to figure out it was Hust. Um, so I was just trying to figure out like who was there, was trying to figure out like where they were on the leaderboard, who I was battling with for points how many I had between me and Roman. Uh, so all these things were going through my mind and like trying to calculate because I was at that point, this is Saturday morning. And uh, this is where I had to start like gaining points because I think I was coming into Saturday in second or third place. And Roman had what a hundred points on everyone. So I was like, if I want, if I want to gain some spots, then I need people in between. So I was just trying to figure out like who was where. It, um, so, so the whole thing surprises you. By the way, I interviewed probably eleven athletes, and eleven out of eleven said that absolutely uh, talking to someone while you're running uh, is absolutely okay. They 100 percent were like, "Yeah, good on Adler if he was saying shit to him." E- even R- even Rich agreed, like, "Hey," but the but, but the weird part was is that they kept saying we kept hearing that you touched him, and I was like, 
it didn't even make sense. Like, what were you going to do? Do that to him? I mean, it, it like uh, obviously it didn't make sense. There would be or like at the start, and I looked at the start, and uh, it so looked at the really start, fair. No, no, like, no, no. We've no. Seen, well, I was we've there at the worse. start, and we were on on the far left, and right right after the 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 line that we started on, there was a CrossFit uh, like uh, post, yeah, with a big base, like a big CrossFit base, and then. They pushed Roman through the like they squeezed us. They were like line up here, line up here, line up here, and then the it was legit like six feet in front of the line. And if we would have started squeezed through the fence, he would have been stuck behind everyone. So both of us, we were like, no, like we're not starting here. We're moving, and I was fine because it was only in front of him, and I could have just said nothing and say like, well, you're gonna get stuck, and I'm jetting, and you're gone. But I was like, I was pushing the guys beside and I had, Ch I think I had Chandler Smith right beside me. And I was like, Chandler, squeeze back, squeeze back to leave him space. And I said to Roman, like, I'm going to leave you space. I'm not going to push you and trip you in the, in the thing. And I said to Chandler, I'm like, I got to leave some space on that side. So don't like knock me off. Like don't elbow me in the. So you were place. actually being courteous to him. You wanted, you wanted Roman to be up there. Well, it was really unfair. Like it, it he would have been blocked and I, I think the women would have passed like by him. So no, it wasn't fair, but I mean, we left plenty of space. We had plenty of space to start and he sprinted the first few meters, I think probably to be safe and go around. But I did, I did leave him space, plenty of space to not trip over the thing. But God, I don't know why they would put that there. Like just move everything out of the way, but. We flipped the whole script on this story. It went from you're your, um, picking on the poor little Russian guy to uh, well, you, you left room for the giant Russian. Want. What? People can think whatever they want. I really don't care about it. Like, I, I ran a fair race, and uh, I my plan was to bait him and going fast and trying to make him fatigued. And it, it didn't really work, actually. And that's why on second lap, like, fuck this. Like, I'm going. Uh but yeah, I could have what, done that race uh, way faster. What about on the row? Were you chirping him on the row? There was also stories that you were chirping him on the row. Oh yeah, I made yeah. him miss. Uh, I made him go to the row before he hit the box. That was me. <laughs> yeah, fine. Uh, thank you so much for coming on. I know uh, you're you're amazing, Caroline. Thanks for uh, doing this. Um, you guys are always welcome on the show. I'm so stoked for you. Uh, incredible victory. Pleasure watching you all week. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you guys are uh, you guys are two just really incredibly sober, positive individuals, and I'm and I'm always stoked to talk to you guys. Yeah. Thank now you. we got to work to keep keep.